why my hands look so long. Because <laughs> they are long. <laughs> Thumbnail. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a dupe video for you and I'm really excited because I was thinking about it. I was like, do I even have a dupe video on my channel? Maybe one video, I'm not sure. I haven't even checked, but yeah, I don't do any dupe videos and I was just thinking I am way overdue for doing one because I just finished organizing my whole entire makeup collection. I have a new setup. So let me know if you guys want like a redo of my makeup collection because it's completely different what it looks like now and my setup. But I was going through my makeup and I was just looking at it, seeing what I should toss out, what I should keep. I was doing my own little declutter and I started finding all these dupes and I'm just like, I'm gonna do a dupe video. Do, 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 do. So I'm really excited. So I wrote down all the things that I found. Your girl did her homework. Whoop, whoop. And I wrote down all the dupes and I found a lot right away, surprisingly. At first, sometimes I'm thinking, oh, you have to go through everything, but it was actually pretty easy just because I do utilize most of the things in my collection so I know what's pretty similar. And I have even more that I found even after today. So let me know after this video, give it a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed a dupe video. If you just love dupe videos, Anyhow, and I'll do a part two because I've already found more dupes on top of the ones that I do have. I have about 12 dupes. So now let's get into the dupe video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, join my family, whoop, whoop. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible, but I like to jibba jibba jab jab. So say for instance, you're a fan of a turquoise color. Now this is the Makeup Forever Aquamatic. This is in Celestial Turquoise. Now this is a beautiful, stunning color. It has like, the prettiest shine, just look at that dimension and you're like, whoa, that's stunning, I want it. And then you look at the price and you see that this baby is 22 bucks. Well, I found a dupe for this one and I'm really excited because I find that this is like a type of shade that everybody really loves, either aqua or that kind of beautiful emerald green, but you know you're not gonna use it all the time. Well, the dupe that I found is by Jordana and this is the 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil and this is in the shade Endless Emerald. I'm just gonna do a little swatcheroo right there. And it's a pretty, pretty similar, if you can see that. Obviously, this one's pulling a little bit more green, and it has a little bit of shimmers, but it's still the same exact thing. If you put it on the lid, honestly, this is just a little bit darker, and it has some shimmer, which I actually prefer. Both beautiful pencils and beautiful shades, so there's the first one. So let me say really quick, are my dupes are gonna be something that's gonna be really similar, not exactly the same, maybe some might be exact, but I think that that is pretty close, especially for someone who likes these types of vivid colors. Save your money, $3.99 as opposed to 22 bucks. What? Okay, so next up is a lip primer. If you're a fan of a lip primer to prep the lips before liquid lipsticks or lipsticks themselves, just to fill in any lines and give you a nice smooth glide. I know a lot of people love the Anastasia lip primer. It is pretty good. I mean, honestly, I don't really use lip primers. There's no color. It just makes your lips really nice and smooth. Well, this baby retails for $16 and Ulta has the same exact thing. It's the same exact formula consistency does the same exact thing it's not gritty if I put one on and I had my eyes closed I wouldn't know which is which and this baby only retails for eight dollars so sixteen dollars versus eight dollars which one you picking? Now I'm not gonna go too into these next products just because I have a whole video on this, but if you're someone who likes to set their brows and like something with a tint, and you're a fan of the Benefit Gimme Brow, this is the new packaging. I'm telling you, this stuff is really phenomenal. They have some fibers here so it can just cling onto your brows, make them look a little fuller, sets them in place, and also adds tints. Now this retails for $24. Now the one dupe that I found that I absolutely love and I use almost every single day as opposed to this, this one I just kinda use like on weekends when, I don't know, I know I really, really need my brows to super stay in place because this is like glue to your brows, but this works just as well and great for every day. And this is the essence, this is the old packaging. Be right back. This is the old packaging of Benefit. I grabbed the wrong thing. I'm back. Ha, <laughs> that's why I got confused because they look so similar in tubing. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is only $2.99. The only problem is that the tint is a little bit different. Both a small wand, they both have the little fibers on the wand in order to make your eyebrows nice and full and keep them in place. I'm drinking this hazelnut coffee. It's an unsweetened Starbucks coffee with a splash of hazelnut. Mmm. 
It's so good and it's like, woo! So next up I have the Stila Magnificent Metals. This one's in metallic gilded gold. Now these are so beautiful because you can use these on their own or you can use it as a topper. Now they have great, great creaminess and they're just so stunning on the eye. It comes with like a liquid to make it even more metallic, but honestly, these are metallic enough where you don't need them. And then I also have another sample size and this one's in their famous shade Kitten because this is really popular for their eyeshadow and highlight. And I love them, they look so beautiful, look at that. Now these retail for $32, which is a lot of money, which is why I'm just holding on strong to my sample size. Now the dupe that I found are the Milani Fierce Foiled Eyeshadows. They have the same exact texture, creaminess, and this is only $10.99 and you get four shades in each one. Uh, with the Stila, I have never gone through one of those pots just because the little goes a long way. Same thing goes with this. Super creamy, $10.99, and you get a ton of shades. So I'm gonna swatch this one because it looks pretty similar. Or that one's a little bit more coppery. This one is really similar, but same exact texture. Look at that. Still really nice and shiny. This one looks similar to Kitten. See, so same exact concept. You get four different shades. I was like looking at my swatches right now and I'm like so proud of my dupes, but I'm thinking what happens if someone already showed these? Now eyeliner that I just started recently using this last month is this liquid liner. I'm someone where I love gel, but I wanted to give this a try because I've had this before and I know that I really loved it because it finished matte and it's really nice and dark. So this is the ink liner from Makeup Forever and this retails for $23. Now this liner has a brush and it is so dark and pigmented and the finish dries matte, which I absolutely love. This is not a waterproof finish though. Now eyeliner is something that you can just go through really quick and to constantly pay $23 over and over, that's a lot of money within the year. I know a lot of us love black liner, so that's one of those products that we're kind of always replenishing or always trying out a new one. Now, another product from Milani, they just came out with these, and this is the black matte. This is the Stay Put Matte 17 Wear Liquid Liner. Now, this one is only $7.99, and I know they came out with a brown one and also a dark green one, and I believe a blue one, and it also has a brush tip applicator, and it also finishes matte. Look at that, same exact thing. I want this to dry, cause I want you to see the difference on how you can't see the difference. <laughs> now here are the swatches of both eyeliners. You cannot see the difference whatsoever. They both have the same exact brush tip, so the application is going to be the same. Now another product that we always go through and always have to replenish is a primer. Now this is the Too Faced Hangover. I think it works really well and it's definitely hydrating. Now this is has a more of a liquidy consistency and it has a really, like a lot of skin benefits. It's just this white liquid right here. You just blend it in and it's extremely moisturizing it doesn't fill in the pores it's just one of those more radiant moisturizing primers now a dupe for this is the covergirl true blend so that primer is $32 this one is only $9.99 it's the same exact consistency same exact thing it feels the exact same, sets the same, doesn't fill in the pores, and you wouldn't even know which side is which. This one distinctly is for oily skin, but what's really great about this is since that one's more hydrating and moisturizing, and if someone really loves that aspect of the hangover, this baby is really great because not only is it for oily skin, but they have two other primers in the same exact formula, one for dry skin and one for combo. And the last one, oily, which is <laughs> me. Now I know there's a lot of black gel liners in the market, but for some reason Sigma Wicked just works so well for me. This is probably like my fourth tub of this. Unfortunately, you can only get this online or if you're at the makeup shows. Uh, I always have a code WHOOP and you can always get 10% off, but this one doesn't transfer on me. It lasts all day. I'm just gonna use like a regular angle brush. Now this one retails for $14 and look how dark and pigmented that is. Now $14 may not seem like that much compared to some other gel liners that can be in the $20 range, but you still always have to pay for shipping and the inconvenience of shopping online. But this baby works just as well and this is a drugstore version and this is by Rimmel. And I have tried the Maybelline one and I've tried, what else? I forgot which other one, but this one is in 001 black and I love it because it doesn't transfer on me as well and it's really dark and pigmented and you can just pick it up in the drugstore. I know the Maybelline for me, it's not as black in color because I know that one's super popular, but 
these two are exactly the same. Now, a palette that I don't really hear a lot of people talk about is the Naked Flush. Now, they do have three different colors or three different shades in this palette from Urban Decay. Uh, this one is my favorite, which one? Naked Flush in Streaked. And I love this combination. I don't know, even though this bronzer seems extremely light, it actually works for me. It kind of like blends, you see, but it gives a little bit of depth to my skin when I'm not too tan. And I actually use it. At first, when I first got this product, I was like, whoa, this looks really light, but I actually can utilize it. The highlight is like gorgeous. I love it. And then the blush, it's just perfection. It gives you like those perfect flush pink cheeks. So this palette itself retails for $32, but instead of that one, you can use the Maybelline Master Contour, which the shades are pretty similar. The packaging is a little bit more bulky, but what's great about this one is you actually have color options. So they have one for light to medium and then medium to deep, which is this one right here. They're extremely similar. So $32, $12.99. But I have another palette I can show you that's really great as well, and it's one of my favorites and I just happened to get a second shade of it, at shade of it. And this is the Rimmel Contour and Highlight Palette. Now this is in deep. So they have one for light skin, for medium skin, and deep skin tones. But same exact concept, and if anything, this is super sleek and really small, so it's perfect for travel. You can stick it in your makeup bag. It's one of those palettes that I don't mind sticking in my makeup bag and taking up space because it's pretty small as in comparison to other ones. Because now look, look at this big kahuna. Ooh. Now the next step I'm going to show you is something that's not available all the time and this is the Tarte palette. This is from like a holiday collection I think like from two years ago and I absolutely love these palettes and now that summer is coming to an end <laughs> Fall is coming and that means holiday sets and palettes. Now Tarte always comes out with a blush palette every single year. I really love the quality of the blushes that I don't mind purchasing the palette and you get a whole array because their blushes are pretty pricey. Um, this palette I believe I paid like $45 for, usually they're $45. Now you guys may not think that this is really a dupe but I personally do just from testing the product themselves. So these are the e.l.f. blush palettes. The e.l.f. palettes are only $6 so now let me show you the shades and there are only, obviously it's a quad so there's only four instead of the five like a Tarte palette. But I love how they have a light palette and also a dark palette. I think the colors are super similar and I love how there's more of a range that that you can choose from. With the Tarte palette, it's kind of like what they said in that palette is what you get. There's no light palette and there's not a dark palette. So I think that the light palette really mimics the Tarte palette and actually these are a little bit more pigmented. The staying power on the Tarte is really good. Like I'm telling you, my blush does not fade with the Tarte ones. These ones, um, the longevity is really good. I don't think I would really have to reapply until like the end of the night. And I gotta hit it for my deeper skin tone guys and gals. So I think that this is definitely a dupe and much cheaper so I know the holiday palettes are coming so unless you want to save some money get these and then you can take that money that you saved and get a gift for someone that you need to get a gift for and for my last products I'm gonna be showing you some primers now Urban Decay primer potion in Eden is extremely popular I love it just because I've always been a lover of skin tone primers it blends out really nicely nice and smooth sets those eyeshadows in place I love this product. It retails for $20. Now, two primers that I find that are pretty similar is the I Love Stage Primer from Essence. And this baby's only $2.99. And I always use this. You guys know I love this product and I've talked about it so much. And now for a second dupe is the Ulta Eye Primer in Nude Matte, which I absolutely love. I think it's great and it's very similar to Eden as well. Obviously they're all kind of different in shades. So if you're someone that likes Eden but you find it to be a little bit too light, then hey, go for the other options because the Essence is more peachier in skin tone and then the nude one has a little bit more of pink to it. Woo, one last product to go and it is the Kat Von D primer and I have the shade medium. Now she just launched it, launched the so last product, let's do this. Now Kat Von D just launched these primers and this is a part of her Locket line and I have the shade medium. I don't know the other shades. I'm I'm guessing like light and deep, but I think there's more than that. So this is the medium shade and this is $25, but I'm gonna tell you right now I've used this and it's not my favorite. It actually makes my eyeshadows really hard to blend and it makes my eye look really dry. So 
go for the dupes. Now the dupes are not exactly the same because obviously I have the shade medium, but if you have maybe the fair one or you were, you know, wanting to get the fair one, this one is the LA Pro eyeshadow primer. Obviously it's much more lighter than the medium, but I'm saying say that you had the fair stick or you just want a stick primer that's pretty similar. People may like that. They might not necessarily want the medium shade. They may want something that's more brightening on the eyelids due to like maybe you have pigmentation. Like I have a little bit of more pigmentation on my eyelids and this is only four dollars as opposed to 25 and the product's not that good once you kind of like start blending out the products that almost look the same and then last one just to kind of compare just shades is a Jordana pencil in almond and this one is only $3.99 I know it's much lighter but I'm saying say that you wanted maybe the fair shade I would just go for this, but they're all basically the same once you blend them out. And that is it for my video. So I went through all the dupes that I did find. Again, I did find even more dupes. So thumbs this up if this video did help you. And if you enjoy dupe videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then I will probably do a part two if you guys like this type of video and thumbs it up. I will leave all my social medias down below, low, low, low. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, I did redo my makeup. So let me know if you guys want to see that I think I'm gonna do that video too new makeup collection so yeah see you guys later Mwah. Woo